Hey guys, it's Riches, Mowers and Blowers. Psh. Hey, in today's episode, we are going to look at the co-workers weed whacker, trimmer. What do you guys call these things? Weed eaters? Anyways, this is a Troy built 32 EC and he said he can't get it started. So stay tuned. What do we got? What are we looking at? It is the Troy Built TB32EC straight shaft trimmer with the trimmer plus where you can get the attachments and be able to put that on there. Looks like the head is spinning around okay. Doesn't look too beat up. Looks kind of new actually. So, let's take a look at back here. Oh, it has the jump start. So, if you have your little key bit, it's kind of like a chuck and it goes on your drill. You can go in there and you can start it without pulling the string. Primer bulb doesn't seem too hard. The lines are flexible it's it's moving so we're okay on that looks like there's a little bit of fuel in there I just seen it move so the primer bulbs working there's no fuel in it it is has a lot of fuel all over it looks like it has a lot of oil and it does smell like it's a uh, old gas all right, let's take the filter cover off, see what's underneath here. We can see, got the choke going, and you can just see all kinds of glossy looking oil everywhere. So either they could have put too much oil in the gas, or it's just bad. All right, let's do my favorite trick. We will throw a little bit of uh, fluid in here and we'll see if it'll even crank over. What we have here is a canister of two cycle gas. You can just squirt some into the carburetor here. We will see if we can pull it over. Was spinning down there so it did fire off so we know it will run don't know how it sounded though pull that cover back off now here's the option we can do we can add some gas in here and maybe have to drain it back out or and just go ahead and take the carburetor off and inspect it and clean it. Let's put some fresh two cycle gas in it and let's see what happens. All right, so I went and put some two cycle gas in it, just a little bit, put that cover back on there. The primer bulb seems like it's pumping and we have gas inside the primer bulb. So let's see if it'll fire off. Turn the choke down to two. Turn the choke to three. I can smell like that burning, like the bad gas in there. Just has that unique smell to it. I'm 
trying to play with the choke a little bit. So we're starting out on one and a half and then going to three, but three stalls it out. So we're gonna just have to play with it a little bit. Maybe, maybe it will burn off whatever's in there. Get some more primer going. So you can hear it pop off just a little bit. So move your choke. the choke all the way and as soon as you go to give it gas it is stalling out that's what's going on with it see if it'll start back up with no choke on guys so the carburetor needs an adjustment because it's stalling out so what we need to do is to do a carburetor adjustment and this is where you do your adjustments with one of these handy dandy carburetor tools so it's kind of uh, like flat on one side I guess can kind of see it down in there so what's going on is when I give it the gas it is bogging out so that is the one that would be in the driver's seat if you're standing behind it we'll call that and the one in the passenger seat would be your idle so it was idling good it would just idle but when you would give it the gas it would bog down so what you're gonna do you're going to stick that in there and you're going to turn it counterclockwise just like a little quarter of a turn like that and we'll start it up and we'll see if that resolves the issue so once I turn this on you won't be able to hear me anymore but we are turning the passenger side just a little bit and you'll hear it idle up and down okay 
So depending on how I turn it, left or right, clockwise or counterclockwise, it'll go up and down. So, as you heard, counterclockwise puts in more RPMs, clockwise stalls it out, puts in less. So you want to get that happy medium where it's not stalling out, your head is not spinning, because if you have too high of RPMs, your head will just keep spinning over it. So that's pretty close. We want our head to stop when we stop giving, giving it the gas. And then we want it to idle, but not stall, but not too fast. And then when we give it the trigger, we don't want it to die out. So that's how you go through and do little fine tuning of your carburetor. I think we got it there. Hey guys, so if you have a two cycle like this, you do, you do need to pick up a set of carburetor adjusters. And they come in a whole kit, or you can buy individual ones. But the whole kit's 20 bucks or less, so it's worth it if they ever get out of adjustment. Hey, thanks for joining me on Rich's Mowers and Blowers. Psh. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. Get notified every time there's a new video. Hey, we'll see you next time. Well, hey guys, it's been raining a couple days. So uh, I went ahead and took the spark plug out of here. And we cleaned off the spark plug with all that bad gas that was on it. So what you can do, get one of these wire wheels and put it on your drill. 
and you can just run it on here like this and that will clean your spark plug off so that does help save you a spark plug and you're not going out spending four or five bucks for a new spark plug and it's an easy take off easy clean it's a 5 8 socket just make sure you thread it in with your hand so you don't cross thread anything and then when you go to tighten it you just nice little snug tight just like that that's all you do put your plug back on there so let's go ahead and give this a try we will uh, since it's been raining a couple days it's it's still kind of wet out there but we will go ahead and give it a try